Welcome to Bridge Watch. I'm Corey Ranslam with Dryad Global. This week on the vlog, we're going to cover a topic that we've talked about in the past, but a little bit different twist. We're going to be talking about gaps in cybersecurity. Now, when you look at cybersecurity, there's a number of issues that you could identify within your own systems that could be potential gaps. We're going to talk about three different areas today, and there's a lot of subpoints to that. We'll be writing a blog on this um, and other materials. So, the first major gap that we typically see in cybersecurity. It's the personnel side. Everybody looks at equipment and firewalls and, and all the other things that you can do electronically, but one of the biggest gaps that we've seen in cybersecurity is crew training. So when you're developing a cybersecurity program, make sure that one of the things that you do is develop, whether internally or with an external partner, a crew training program. The crew on your vessel and the people who work within your office operations are the most important when it comes to that critical link in cybersecurity. They're the most overlooked part of that chain and typically not trained. We're going to be putting out some training courses later this year. You're going to see uh, a number of things about that. We're going to be doing some speaking engagements later in the fall on that. So much more to come when it comes to crew training and crew hygiene. All right, the next thing that we typically see outside of the lack of crew training is the misconfiguration of equipment. So there's a number of pieces of equipment that you can have on board, but the thing that we see most is the misconfiguration of network equipment, routers, switches, modems, and firewalls. When we've looked with clients at how their networks are set up, we typically find that clients have multiple networks, which is something that we recommend. But the issue that we see is that you're able to penetrate from one network to the other. So that gets back to a misconfiguration of equipment. And with equipment not being configured or updated properly, it could also lead to a number of other vulnerabilities or attack vectors for your organization. All right, so the third piece that we're gonna talk about today is a very important piece is third-party risk. Today we are so connected with IT, OT, Ocean of Things devices, whether on our vessel or in our offices, we are interconnected with our partners, with our customers, with our suppliers, with a number of different pieces and links within our operations. Some of the biggest risks that you could be facing could be from third party suppliers. There's a number of things that you can do to make sure that your third party suppliers are secure. Number one, make sure that they have limited access into and out of your systems if they need access at all. Number two, have them complete the CAIQ. It's a great self assessment for them to see where they're at when it comes from a cybersecurity perspective. Also, we always recommend, unless you have to, don't give access to your critical cybersecurity systems to third parties unless they absolutely need it. And when you do, open and close that window as necessary so there's not a potential of attack vectors. We've seen in the maritime industry some of the biggest attacks on our infrastructure, whether vessels or shoreside business, comes from third party providers. Hey, thanks for joining us on the vlog today. Make sure you tune in for Bridge Watch every Thursday. I'm Corey Ransom with Drive Global. Hey, thanks for joining us on our weekly vlog today. We really appreciate all of our viewers. Make sure you connect to us through our social media detailed in the comments section below. Also, make sure you sign up on our website. We have a ton of free content when it comes to maritime security, threat assessments, and risk intelligence. Also, join the conversation. We want to hear from you as we improve our vlog and our topics each week. So make sure you connect to us and join the conversation.